welcome to another Waffle Wednesday with your host, me. <laughs> I wasn't actually going to do a waffle today because I hadn't really got anything to talk about. Um, and I kind of want to sort of keep these for, you remember when we used to do them, viewer, back in the day, and we'd discuss a topic such as driving a classic daily or is free tax really free? I kind of wanted to keep it for that or questions that I'd been asked and not just randomly plug things, you know, like the next show I'm doing is this or my second YouTube channel, which is now available for you to watch, although there isn't anything on it yet, bar one video. Yes, I have made a second channel for those of you that may be interested in my camper van exploits. Um, I've no idea where I'm going to go with it yet. Not the camper van, the channel, I mean. It may just be holiday vlogs and, and stuff like that, and little tips of things I do on the van. I don't know. But if you're interested in my style of YouTubing and stuff like that, then the uh, the channel name will appear somewhere here now. And also, it's linked to my channel anyway. You'll see it in the description and stuff. Um, so anyway, that's not that shameless plug. two front ones, they got plenty of tread on them, but they were from 2007. And it all seemed okay until this week, when we've had torrential rain all week, and I entered a corner at a fair speed, nothing, nothing abnormal, and the front decided it didn't want to go into the corner, it just wanted to go straight on, and the back decided it wanted to push it, and it was quite fun, you know, drifting a Land Rover. a bit of a bum twitch moment, you then start finding the limit. Once you know that you've got dodgy front tyres, you then start going into bends and seeing what you can get out of it. And it turns out the front tyres were not purchasing the tarmac as good as you'd like. Um, so I've had to invest in two more new tyres. Um, now I've got a matching set of four. They're not really expensive tyres, but they're not crap either. I, I tend to buy decent mid-range tyres, so they're like 80 quid a throw on this now. And, and the difference is amazing. But when the guy actually came and fitted them and took them off, um, one of them had got a massive gash in it. That, <laughs> gash, anyway, behave. One of them had got a massive gash in it, and um, I hadn't seen that, so I was pleased about that. But the, the rubber had actually gone rock hard, big Range Rover. I'm not going to argue with you. Oh, it's a Discovery. They all look the same, these modern ones. Um, yeah, the tyre, the rubber had gone rock hard. Absolutely, you know, I don't know how you can describe it. But there was no purchase to the tarmac, it was just they were solid. So I was pretty glad really, it could have been a lot worse. So, as with anything, if you're running a classic car or even a daily that's got dodgy tyres on, you know, for the sake of 50 quid, get them checked. Dodgy stuff, man. You might have been missing this pretty face forever, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. We'll discuss nothing more about it. Um, videos this week. Unfortunately, the car show that I was due to do at the weekend was cancelled due to the rain. So at this point in time, I have nothing for you this week, viewers, I'm afraid. There are a couple of things possibly in the pipeline for filming this weekend, but weather dependent. Um, I've got a 
couple of quite exciting cars promised to me, not Leyland based, um, but interesting, but as I say, weather dependent, one of them specifically will not get the car out in the rain and I don't blame him. Um, so, we may have a video later this weekend or possibly Monday depending on editing. Um, but if not, I will just keep you posted. Um, if you are missing my video, Styly, get me down in the 90s. Styly, give me a rewind. <laughs> um, have a look at my other channel. Uh, as I say, it's very much in the early stages, but you know, I like to do this now. I'm getting a lot more confident with it, as you can tell. It's the it's the extrovert coming out. So that'll do for now. Can't see the time on the clock. It's six minutes something. That'll do. I've had enough. Goodbye. See you next time, viewer.